All right, welcome to the video here where we're going to talk about um, recording a time travel debug. So TTD trace using binary ninja. Uh, the previous video we talked about installing um, TTD through WinDebug. And now this video we're going to talk about creating the trace file, which is going to contain the emulation and therefore the instructions from execution that allows us to go forwards and backwards. Uh, if you want to take a look, this is essentially just going through the documentation. So here we are with record a TTD trace. Um, for this video, I am just going to do the instructions as you see here, more or less, uh, running through Binary Ninja. Okay, once we're done with that, we'll just move to a command line and I'll show you how to do this with the kind of the, the built-in utilities that are provided by WinDebug in order to create a trace. Okay, so uh, let's get started here. Um, one thing I do want to point out, I should probably report this, but if you, if you are following along with the documentation, um, it says to click menu, debugger, install WinDebug TTD. Uh, we've already done that. And uh, in the last video, I talked about the fact that we can't do this with the free version. So here we have debugger, install WinDebug TTD. Why not? Well, because it's the free version, right? So if you want to unlock that feature, uh, whatever, you got to pay for it. But we've already done that. So we don't have to worry about it. If we go to debugger, though, we want to record a TTD trace. Um, and then here we, we configure the trace. And so this is going to be whatever we want to record a trace of. Now I'm gonna use a simple utility ping because that's easy and it's built in and all that good stuff. So we'll just navigate to uh, Windows System 32. Uh, where are you System 32, where are you? There we go. And I'll go ping.exe. Okay, for the working directory, I'm gonna make this on my desktop. Um, use one of these folders here, just so it's clear uh, where the output, the output looks like. Um, dash N, so these are gonna be my arguments, and these are gonna be the arguments to the program that I wanna trace. So these are arguments to ping in this case. So uh, I'm gonna say dash N 15, so we'll do 15 trace or 15 ping requests, and uh, I'll just do that to my website, cyberyeti.com. And the reason that I wanna do um, 15 is just so that um, you can actually see kind of what's going on here. Um, trace output directory, I'm going to go ahead and pick the same folder here and uh, that's it. So this will start the trace and it actually is really, it's really nice because it's probably the easiest way to do it. It's all integrated here in Binary Ninja. Once the trace is done, we'll be able to in the next video load it up and start stepping through the code, stepping through the emulation. Um, it's not as full featured though as using the actual utility. So that's why I wanna point out the utility here in just a moment. Now, keep in mind before we hit record, TTD is meant to provide a, a you know, it's a, it's a layer that gets added into execution. It's actually emulation and it's, it's, it's what's used to record the instructions and create this trace file. It's meant to be unob unobtrusive though. And so the program that's going to run will still interact with the operating system, with the network, with the environment. So let's say we're, we're gonna create a trace on ransomware. Well, it's still going to ransom the system. So you just have to be very careful with that. For example, these ping requests, they're still gonna work. They're still gonna go out. And unless I have something like either a direct access to the internet or to my local network to get my DNS server or something like fake net running, um, right? They're still, they're still going to ping, is still gonna issue those ICMP requests. Okay. Once we hit record, uh, you'll see you're gonna get a UAC. Uh, this does, the, the trace utility does have to have administrative privileges, so we'll click yes. Um, and then here you go. Like, like the, here is the output in this case in the console because this is where we'd expect it. There is some information here about where you're going to find um, like the engine, the engine initialization. There is a, a EULA that you, uh, you can see down here on the right-hand side. Here's the actual command, and we'll come back to this in a minute. Uh, but there's a dash accept EULA argument so that you don't have to, I think normally or the first time or something, there's a, a little pop-up that uh, has the user agreement. Uh, oh, I, I selected something. So you see when you have select up here, that actually stops the console. So I hit escape. That'll allow that to resume. And now we'll get our, our actually ICMP requests as it is being you know, emulated, as it's being traced, and as the trace file is being created. Okay, once it's done, recording is complete, you can now debug the trace. So that'll be steps or video, uh, you know, what we'll do in the next video. Um, going to go to the desktop and the folder here, and you can see there are two files that were created, the .run file, uh, just by size alone would probably indicate to you that this is the important file. It is. Um, the out file just has information about 
the trace, right? So you can take a look at that out file and you'll see here, uh, you know, typical Microsoft tools. They got to put this stupid little banner on top of everything. Uh, but here you go, information about the trace. So you can check that, go back and review it. Um, you know, sometimes there's help. I mean, there's definitely helpful things in here. For example, uh, the, the guest process was 64 bit. Right? So if you're not sure if the trace was a 32 or 64 bit, this is one way to look at it. Uh, but what we really want is the run file. Okay, so uh, that's one way to create the trace using Binary Ninja. Uh, the second is actually just this command right here. And so I've already got a terminal open. Uh, you're gonna find this binary as you see here with the output, this is kind of a, an oddity in my opinion, but ttd.exe is what was utilized. Um, and even though when we install, whoops, what am I doing? When we install <clears throat> WinDebug and we get time travel debug with WinDebug, it doesn't map ttd.exe to the system path. So you still have to go in and map that yourself um, or copy that utility out of there and it gets to be kind of a hassle. Microsoft does provide a specific installer for TTD in which it it installs that binary in another location in the file system along with all the supporting DLLs and other utilities. So we actually already have it though because we've already extracted all of the utilities and you'll find the path um, under AMD64 uh, TTD, right? And so if you run ttd.exe dash help, and you have to type out the full word here, dash help, uh, this will give you help information. So yeah, it's worth poking through here. Uh, for example, though, there's the accept EULA, accept one time EULA without prompting. Okay, so there we go, it's the one time, so it was one time. Okay, so now we can use ttt.exe to do the exact same thing that Binary Ninja just did for us. Um, we want to define, let me see, I think I have this in my history. So the out file, otherwise it's just gonna use the current directory, and I don't really want it here. Uh, so we're going to, I'm gonna dump it into this demo folder. And you saw earlier that I deleted everything in there. So it's empty as of now. Uh, and then that's the only argument, right? Like everything else that Binary Ninja did, uh, we don't need to accept the EULA. It did define the out parameter. Um, this dash launch is just the default. If you look at the help information, you'll see that. That just means to actually, you know, use the trace utility to launch the binary. Uh, but now when we run this command, it's gonna look very similar to what you saw with Binary Ninja. And with our ping utility, there's our ping requests. Uh, they're gonna go 15 times. And then we've got some output information here. Again, this is contained in the out file. And if we go to, ah, oh, look at that. I used a different folder, TTD BN demo. Oh, gosh, so I don't know what I did, but I, I got these all mixed up, huh? Uh, well, there you go in any case. Um, those are the dot run and the dot out file. And, and these are the current timestamps. Now you know exactly when I made this video in central time. Uh, so there they are. And now we could use these as our trace with whatever supports it. So primarily WinDebug um, or the integration of the debug engine in Binary Ninja. So this is how we can record a trace. Next up, we will actually use the trace in Binary Ninja so that you could benefit from having the trace there.